E3 Diamond Fire versus Laser Platinum versus Copper Core versus a Junkie Mismatch. Older and welcome to the channel. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell so you get notified when I do all the testing. Today we're talking about spark plugs. Do you have to spend the big money on laser platinum plugs or will the cheap copper stuff work just as well? And what about E3 spark plugs? Is there anything to diamond fire technology? In this video, we're going to take a look at three different kinds of spark plugs. We've got our E3 Diamond Fire Technology, we've got our NGK Laser Platinums, and our cheap Autolite Copper plugs, all supplied by the guys at AutoZone. Do they make any difference in power? We can't test emissions or mileage or drivability, but I can test power. Hey guys, if you're new, welcome to the channel. But what happens if you have a question? Hey, I saw this video, but I wanted to ask Richard a question. Well, you're in luck. You get to do that. Join us nightly, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time on the live feed. You can come on, join the group. If I don't have an answer to your question, chances are there are lots of bright guys. They might have an answer. So if you've got a question about any of the video that you just saw, or maybe you're working on a project, join us live, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time on this channel. Okay guys, we got our motor up on the dyno and it's time for our spark plug test. We have our low buck auto light, basically copper plugs. All of this stuff came from AutoZone, so thank you, big thumbs up to the guys at AutoZone for supplying all the stuff for our plug test. We have our NGK Laser Platinums, the four prong deals, and then we have our E3 Diamond Fire Technology spark plugs. We're gonna go ahead and run the motor the way that it is, basically with my pretty junkyard number conglomeration of plugs. What that means is I've got five of one kind of plug, I've got two of another, and one of another. They're not the same heat range. They're mismatched, but yet it still works. We're going to run it in that configuration. Then we're going to start off with our E3 plugs and see if diamond fire technology really works. Okay guys, we've made our initial runs. Let's go ahead and pull these plugs out and make room for E3 Diamond Fire Technology. These are out, and if you haven't already, make sure to go check out the spark plug indexing video that should be already up. Now we've got all the plugs out. Let's go ahead and install our E3 Diamond Fire Technology plugs. Before I do that, I'm going to hit all of them with a little dash of anti seize, and then we can pop them in. Okay, anti seize, spark plug. Remember, like cologne, a little goes a long way. Still warm from the runs with the E3 spark plugs. Let's pull those out and we're gonna put in the laser platinums. Okay, E3s are out. Time for the laser platinum. That's right, the 5.3 is gonna run with a freaking laser plug. We got our laser platinums in. Let's make a run. Bow, 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 bow. Four degrees.
So after running the laser plugs, I'm gonna go out and swap them and put in the low buck copper auto lights. Okay guys, let's jump right in for the results of our spark plug comparison. We have our junky set of plugs that I started with on our all aluminum L33 5.3 liter. Our test motor was equipped with the 799 heads. It's the aluminum L33 short block and all of that is stock. We did have a valve spring upgrade. We changed the camshaft to a Brian Tui Racing red hot camshaft. I'll go ahead and give you the specs on that camshaft right now. It is a 617, 619 lift split a 221, 240 something degree duration split and 113 degree load separation angle. We just ran, reused the stock lifters. As I said, this valve spring upgrade. We did upgrade the intake manifold. If you want to take a look at the video, take a look and see how much power we gained by putting our fast LSXR intake manifold and 102 millimeter throttle body on this uh, cammed L33 versus the truck manifold. That video is up. We also ran our test motor with inch and seven eighths long tube headers, collector extensions, 80 pound injectors and a fast XF or a, I take that back, a Holly HP management system. And then run first with our mismatch of plugs, five of one, two of another, and one of another that we've used <laughs> for one reason or another. Our 5.3 liter produced 479 horsepower, 478.5, and 412 foot pounds of torque. And drum roll please, here's what happened when we replaced all of these plugs with a set of E3 diamond fire technology, basically nothing. <laughs> all of the plugs were working and they were firing and when we put the new E3 plugs in, all of those were working and firing. So we're, we see a variation here of one, maybe two horsepower in different spots and trade-offs between the different plugs. In, in one case, one might be making a little more, one might be making that. What we're seeing here basically is just the range of repeatability going from one run to the next run between spark plugs. And what it shows here is that if you're looking for big power gains, like guys often say, oh yeah, I, I gained 10 or 12 or 20 horsepower or whatever from putting these plugs in. No, <laughs> the only way to get that is if the plugs that you took out were misfiring and the plugs that you put in were not when all of the plugs are working and obviously all of these were working fairly well. The gains from game gain from spark plugs, very minimal. But that doesn't stop us from checking out our copper core versus our laser platinums. Okay, guys, we're taking a look at our junky set of mismatched plugs versus the E3 Diamond Fire Technology plugs. Didn't really see very much power there. Now it's time to take a look at our laser plat plugs, the four prong. And if you can think about it, and you see the tip in the in the video, you can see that's kind of like a side gap, although it's pretty far to the side, versus our auto light typical copper core deal. So in the laser platinum. So let's take a look. These are our laser platinum plugs, and once again, we're making 478, 479 horsepower right in that range and 400 and this in this case 12 foot pounds of torque and this is with our laser plugs our super laser beams our freaking laser beams and this is our auto light plugs again not a big change although <laughs> it's staring you right in the face there take a look at the at the area between 4500 and 5000 rpm for some reason the uh, auto light plugs wanted to make a little bit of power there and it seemed to be repeatable and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and bring up the uh, i'm going to go ahead and bring up the air fuel curve the timing didn't change we we made no adjustment to timing this is the air fuel curve of the laser plug this is the air fuel curve of the auto light plug. They're exactly the same. In fact, I'll go ahead and bring up all of them. Here is our junkie set of plugs. Here is our E3 set of plugs. And so 
<laughs> this is this is the range of repeatability between one run and another run, and I and I know people are going to say, oh, you didn't tune that all. You need to run that at thirteen two, or you need to even that out, or you need to do this. So the people that are going to make that comment are two. Is first of all, I welcome it. So just bring it. But the next thing is what they don't realize is the I've already demonstrated many many times on this channel that and this particular motor is a perfect example that how indifferent it is to changes in air fuel. We've swung air fuel changes more than a full point in every direction and it just doesn't change power very much. But this is all the same and these things were perfectly repeatable each, each time. But what it does go to show us is that when you're looking at spark plugs, <laughs> the copper core spark plug, actually works pretty well, makes good power. The thing is, it's probably not going to last as long, but it's every bit as good in terms of power production of those like really expensive iridiums or platinums. And the E3 spark plug didn't really make any more power than any of these. Let's get to our conclusion. Okay, guys, what to take away our comparison between all of our spark plugs on our 5.3 liter. We have our inexpensive copper core auto lights. We have our NGK laser platinum, the four prong exotic metal plugs and we have our E3 with Diamond Fire technology. As we saw on the dyno results, there isn't a big change in power from any of these. None of these plugs are gonna offer 15 or 20 horsepower. There just isn't that much there. If anything, we saw that maybe the copper core plugs might've been worth one or two horsepower, but quite honestly, if you're looking for power in spark plugs, you're kind of looking at the wrong place. But is that the only question? And the answer is no. Even if one of them made a little more power like we kind of saw from the copper core plugs, does that mean you should use those? Maybe yes, maybe no. They're inexpensive. You can throw them in and they'll work. But more than likely, the copper core plugs are not going to last nearly as long as these other exotic metals like platinum and iridium. I'm not sure about the E3 plugs because I haven't run those on any stock applications, but maybe they last longer too. But here's the point. Look at all the OEMs. They're using these exotic metals. They're using platinum. They're using iridium. In a lot of applications, the factory plugs are supposed to last like 100,000 miles. You're not going to get anywhere near that with copper core plugs. So do you buy the inexpensive ones and change them more often? Do you buy the expensive ones and they're going to last? None of them, almost none of them, are going to give you any more power. I'm Richard Holder. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. I'll keep testing.